zoveel dingen tegelijk. This is my brother Emil. And I tricked him a little bit to clean this machine. But what he don't know is that he will get this machine for his birthday. Because I don't really have a purpose for this machine. But he had some plans for it so he can get it. And I will upgrade of course with an SSD and put Linux on it. Yeah. What do you think about tiny Core 2 Duo PCs? And first of all I need to put the front on the front and not on the back. This is probably a nice machine for a workshop situation. Nice small form factors for reading, PDFs, that kind of stuff. I think I should make a gaming PC out of it. See if it runs crisis. <laughs> but where do we put video cards? So thank you for cleaning this machine so it doesn't blow all the dust in my studio. Because it was so dirty but an air compressor helps with cleaning a machine like this. Don't forget to stop the fans from blowing up the motherboard. <laughs> Do you people like my nose? This video is sponsored by my long term sponsor PCBWay. If you want your circuit board designed, realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for a one or two layer design. Check the top banner for the current promotions. Place your order now, links in the description. Normally I focus on the high end parts that you can upgrade and, and do all kinds of crazy stuff with. But the tiny machines, it's something special. Because <laughs> you cannot upgrade much about them. Most times they are really slow. Hi, my name is Victor Bart. Welcome to Retro Machines. And in this video we are gonna turn this little box into a little Linux box. And see if we can still use it for some tasks. And my brother will get this for his birthday because he said, Oh, I can use it. So, yeah, I will turn this machine into his birthday present. It's not only the machine, but it also comes with this monitor. And you can mount the machine here at the rear. So, that will be perfect for in the kitchen. So he can read what he needs to do while cooking, play some music, watch some videos. Just like a kitchen entertainment system. And I will put Linux on this machine because it's cool and it's perfect for the task. And it is probably more lightweight than Windows. It has a slimline DVD writer. So that's perfect to uh, make CDs to install old retro computers. Four USB ports in the front, audio, power button, six USBs in the rear, so total of ten USBs, only USB 2.0, but that is perfect for a machine like this. Audio, keyboard, mouse, network, display port, VGA, and here comes the power brick, because this one doesn't have a power brick inside. It's a core to duo but it has DDR3 memory. So maybe if he needs more memory he can upgrade it to uh, 2 sticks of 4 GB or maybe 2 sticks of 8 GB. But I think now it's 4 GB installed which is probably fine but it is upgradable. That's a bonus. Okay there's a 2.5 inch hard drive installed but my plan is put this Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD now 300 inside because why not and SSDs are so cheap nowadays so there's no need to still use hard drives and probably this will be the biggest upgrade for a little machine like this and if you don't have one please get an iFixit kit I will put an Amazon affiliated link in the description to pick one up because it has all the bits to get all the rare screws out of computers. The hard drive isn't that bad because it's 250 gigabyte and it is 7200 RPM. So this is not the slowest uh, laptop hard drive but the SSD is much much faster. And here in the machine there is the SATA connector for the hard drive or the SSD and that's fixed to the motherboard and for the uh, DVD player is this cable. Upgrades are installed and I paid 10 euros for this machine on the Kingsley flea market. I was just thinking ah let's get it for 10 euros and see if it's something cool. But 
at least it's a compact machine. So this is one of the latest compact machine that you can get. And the layout is pretty decent. Here we have the cooling for the CPU. The CPU is under here, the memory, the drives are here, the chipset, some more cooling and the motherboards under it. So of course this machine can be even smaller if they really want it. But I think this is a good size for all the components and that you still have upgradability. So let's put the cover back. And then we can simply hang the system off the back of the monitor stand. And then the put the screw back in. I'm not sure why they put a 150 cm VGA cable with this machine. I think 20 cm would be enough. 4 GB of memory. It's an HP Compact 8000 Elite F10 setup. Enter password. I don't have the password. System information Intel Core to Duo E8500 running at 3.16 GHz. 4 GB of memory. Okay, this is read only. I see a green jumper here, so let's try to remove it and reset the BIOS password. Okay, the storage is detected, storage options, USB device, hard drive, etc. Yeah, that's correct. And I made a USB stick with Linux uh, Mint. So let's try to install that. Welcome to Linux Mint 21.364 bit. And this is the most lightweight version uh, that Linux Mint has. Install Linux Mint. Install multimedia codec. Oh nice, Linux Mint can use ZFS. But let's just erase this and install Linux Mint. The boot time with Linux Mint and the SSD is pretty good. Welcome to Linux Mint. Welcome to your new operating system. And I installed Linux Mint XFCE edition because that's the most lightweight version. Driver manager. Probably everything is installed because there are no difficult hardware in this machine. No drivers needed. Of course not. The monitor resolution is 4040 by 900. So that is not too bad. Let's install Extreme Tux Racer and see how the gaming performance is. I didn't know that installing Steam is so easy nowadays with Linux. And back in the days that was always a hassle and then you had to manually install it. And with every version of Linux they said yeah it's better and it was not really better, it was still lacking. Let's try Classic Half-Life. New game, play Half-Life Uplink. Oh, I don't know if I ever played this because normally on the retro computers I install my old version and not with Steam. So, yeah, I think I found a new <laughs> version to play. Oh, well, oops. Everything goes wrong already. Ah, crowbar. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that this would happen. Don't shoot me! <laughs> I think uh, I'm doing an evil run again. Oh, oops. <laughs> Let's quit this game. I installed also another classic. 
Linux game. Tux Racer! <laughs> it's perfect this game. Look how cute. And you need to get all the herrings and slide down the hill. <laughs> oh, position 2 in the high score list, but at least I took all the herrings. But this game shows that <laughs> Steam was a perfect addition to Linux to get real games. PCBWay has an exciting new servers, full color printing on PCBs. So now you can combine your PCB design with some beautiful art. For more information follow the link in the description. I also installed Saint Rose 2. So let's try if that works on the onboard video because Half-Life is really old. Uh, play anyway. <laughs> oh this is super slow. <laughs> uh, let's skip it. <laughs> I'm, su I'm not sure if this game can run on a machine like this. Two thousand eight. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know if it will run. Oh, whoops! <laughs> it crashed. <laughs> so it's not working. But what we can try is another technique: streaming Baldur's Gate three to this machine. So Baldur's Gate three will run on my AMD 7950X with 96GB DDR5 and a GTX 4080. So let's see if the streaming will work. Not sure where I am in this playthrough. Oh yeah, the Kid Yankee uh, crash. Let's see if we can get into a battle and see how that works. But the performance looks fine. Uh, well, streaming. Ah, yes, here we will have a battle. Let's first use some magic missile. <laughs> Almost dead. Oh, yeah, Zero Heart is a monk. Monk is so OP, it's <laughs> amazing. And Astorion is a bard. Oh, there was some lag. <laughs> Not sure why. And again, some lag. Not sure if it is the system or the network connection. With the lag, this is probably unplayable with the streaming to this machine. What I also need to uh, test out is how the performance is with YouTube. Can I find my own video about Jimny's? Ah, here it is. Let's see if it runs. In this video, I will show you three essential upgrades for your Suzuki Jimny. Oh yeah, this is my little uh, off-roader. So if you want to see that, go to my other channel because it's an amazing car and it's a camper. I think this runs fine, uh, YouTube on this machine. The sound is not stuttering, the image looks fine. 
I think this is an amazing little machine for some uh, basic tasks. So how is Linux Mint on an old Core 2 Duo with 4GB memory but an SSD? I think the experience is fine for basic tasks. You can f watch videos on YouTube, you can do some office work, you can uh, uh, look up some information on YouTube, do basic social media. I think it is fine. But as you saw, for the gaming, <laughs> it's not a machine. So for my brother this would be the perfect machine for in the kitchen or to do some uh, stuff uh, as a workshop PC to look up PDFs, stuff like that. There, this machine would be perfect for and it's a small form factor. But on the other side, for that task, just use a tablet or your laptop. Why should you use a machine like this? <laughs> but it was a fun experiment. And he will get this for his birthday with the SSD and he will have fun with it and it will uh, end up in his kitchen and we will see how it uh, works there. If you like to support me you can join me on Patreon and get access to my awesome Discord server or use my Amazon affiliated links. And thanks for watching.